Hello, thank you for tuning into my channel. It is block three in the Starlight Star Bright quilt series, the Ribbon Tail Star. So if you want to see how to make a block like this, please stay tuned. in our Starlight Star Bright Quilt Along. I have the first two blocks above me here. I have the Friendship Star that was our first star and then here's the Free Willing Star. Actually that's wrong. This is the Friendship Star here on your right. This is the Free Willing Star and I've made them in the blue combination and in a red, black, and gray combination. This is behind me. This is the star that we're going to make today. It's the ribbon tail star. Now, if you've been following along with this uh, quilt along, you know that I get my inspiration. I got my inspiration for this quilt for the Block a Day book by Lucinda Ganderson. It has 365 quilting designs that you can, or quilting um, squares or patchwork or whatever that you can try. And so we've done the two so far. And then today we're going to do the ribbon tail star. I have it here in the book and then I'm going to show you some drawings that I made of this block so that you can see um, how it comes together. So these are the two drawings that I made. The top one is in the blues that I'm going to use today and then the bottom one is in red, black, and gray. So you can kind of see this um, design here in this bottom, uh, bottom block and then the top one is sort of what we're going to be doing today. When it comes to the measurements for this block, there are several different measurements. I've actually tried this a couple ways and um, one way, the first way I did it, it took a long time and well it didn't take a long time but there were just a lot of um, extra cuts and a lot of waste. Um, but I think that that's really the best way to go about this block so that's what I'm going to be sharing with you. It is also going to be on the download so you can check in the description box you'll see a link to the download on my blog and you can um, go get the written directions there. So I have cut my background um, squares and then I've cut some star point squares. The background squares I've actually cut them in two, um, two measurements. So there are five background squares cut at four and a half in, or no at five and a half inches and then I've cut four more at six and a half inches and the reason that these have to be so big is because they're going to be cut twice so I, I wanted to make them bigger for the um, star points I've cut one each in a six inch square and then one in a six and a half inch square so you can see hopefully that that one's just a little bit bigger and I have those cut for each of these um, star point squares. So what I've done first is I went ahead and took my larger background squares, the six and a half inches, and I've uh, drawn a line from corner to corner, a diagonal line here. And I'm going to do this just like I've done all the other uh, half square triangle blocks by stitching on either side of this line and I'll just do chain piecing. Um, I'll do that off camera and then I'll show you um, what that looks like once we, once I get them all done. I have my uh, half square triangles that I created out of my background and star point blocks. Now I did make two out of each of these squares. So there are extra half square triangle blocks here but I didn't, um, I didn't press them open because I don't need them for this block. I'm going to save them for another time for something else. Or maybe if I need um, an extra block for this quilt, because right now I'm planning on making nine. So maybe if I need, if I want to make three more, I'll have some extra blocks to do that. Um, these are, they should measure about six inches. I'm not going to square them up because I'm going to have to square them up in the next step. So I'm not going to do it yet. Um, the next step is actually to take these other star point squares and draw a diagonal line from corner to corner. This is my darkest square and I actually used my, um, my so testy water soluble pencil 
for this to make that white line but in all, all the other ones I was able to use my uh, just an ink pen to make the blue lines so what I'm going to do is take each one of these um, star point or each one of the half square triangles and I'm going to put its matching um, the matching square on top of it um, I have the diagonal line but the diagonal line is actually going to cross the stitch line so let's see um, so I'll put it right here and then the seam line is going this way and then when I place the uh, the other square on it I'm going to place it so that the stitch line goes the opposite way okay and this is actually a little bit my half square triangle is a little bit bigger than six inches because my square is six inches and I don't think that's gonna matter I think it's gonna be fine and so I'm gonna do that for each one of these and then I'm gonna stitch on either side of the drawn line um, for all of these and then I'll show you what it looks like I'm actually gonna show you before I cut it apart so that you can um, you can see it so I'll show you I'll I'll sew these off camera and then I'll show you the next step. I have all of the blocks sewn together. Now what's interesting about this particular part of the block is that you're going to get a mirror image. So I'm going to open up this side here and I'm going to turn it and put the little triangles on the top and now I'm going to open this side and do the same thing and you can see that you have a mirror image. These are not the same block and the one that we need for our quilt is the one with the with the little uh, matching triangle on the right. And you can see that if I show you on the block over here, I'll show you where it fits in right here. The background goes to the outside and then this little triangle is on the, um, on the right. And then you can see it here and here and here. So as I cut everything apart, I'm only gonna keep these blocks that's on the right these other ones i'm just going to put those away and put them in a different area i'm going to press the seam to the larger triangle and then i'm going to square them up to five and a half inches so i'll do that off camera and then i'll show you what it looks like i have all of the star points here and now all i need to do is lay the block out i'm kind of using my um block behind me to give me some direction but all it is is you do the first row the top row and the bottom row are the same with the uh, background squares on the outside and then the middle row has the background square in the middle and I'm just gonna lay out the star points here and all, all I need to remember is that the background goes to the outside of the block so it really doesn't matter which color goes where I am putting um, lights across from each other and darks across from each other when you make your block you decide how you want it to look uh, hmm. it doesn't matter it's gonna be the same anyway all right so now all I need to do is sew the rows together I mean sew the blocks into rows and then sew the rows together and I'm gonna press toward the background fabric and then that's it here is the finished um, ribbon tail star block in the blues. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. I love the way the, the colors look. I like the way the background kind of plays with, the, with these uh, star points. I think it's a pretty nice look. I wanna put it up on the board with my other quilt blocks here. So the top, the top row are the, um, the friendship star, Free Wheeling Star and there's the Ribbon Tail Star and then down here same thing in the red and black combinations friendship free wheeling and Ribbon Tail Star so I am I'm just really happy I love all of these blocks and they're turning out great um, in the next video for this series we're going to be looking at the two-way star so I can't wait to see how that turns out for us please be sure to check out the download so that you can see the full instructions for this block and for the other blocks in the um, in this series if you have any questions about what you've seen in this video please leave them in the comments below thumbs up this video share it with your friends and subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye